Spain won its first match since scandal engulfed its soccer federation following its triumphant campaign at the 2023 Women's World Cup, beating Sweden 3-2 in dramatic fashion on Friday. The victory comes after a tumultuous month following former Royal Spanish Football Federation, RFEF, President Luis Rubiel's unwanted kiss on Jennifer Hermoso during the title celebrations. Amid the ongoing fallout, La Roja found a way past Sweden in the UEFA Nations League game, clinching victory at almost the last possible moment as Maiona Caldenti scored from the penalty spot deep into injury time. Earlier this week, 20 players named to the national team reiterated their refusal to play the game against Sweden. After crisis talks, 21 of the 23 players selected agreed to play after the federation committed to make immediate changes to its structure. Sydney, Australia, August 20, Spain players celebrate during the awards ceremony after the FIFA Women's World Cup Australia and New Zealand 2023 final match between Spain and England at Stadium Australia on August 20, 2023 in Sydney Gadigal, Australia. Photo by Catherine Ivil Getty Images Spanish women's players agreed to end national team boycott after striking deal with Federation and Spain government. Before the match, both teams held a banner that read Hash Sikabo which translates into English as it's over. The banner also included the phrase, Our fight is the global fight. Spain's players also wore wristbands with Hash Sikabo written on them. England and Scotland players wore similar wristbands during their own UEFA Nations League game on Friday, once again displaying the solidarity among female soccer players that has been evident throughout the month-long scandal. At last we ended up playing. We went through some very difficult last few days, nights without sleeping, we are exhausted but we are not the type that make excuses, Athenia del Castillo said afterwards, according to Reuters. We came here, showed up and we fought until the end. Very proud of our team and how we delivered this win with heart and grit. On the field, Spain and Sweden met in a replay of the Women's World Cup semi-final last month and it was Sweden who took the lead first after Magdalena Eriksson headed in a corner. Spain's players celebrate after the UEFA Women's Nation League football match Sweden vs Spain in Gothenburg, on September 22, 2023. Photo by Jonathan N-A-C-K-S-T-I-N-D-A-F-P, photo by Jonathan Nackstrand AFP via Getty Images. Spain's players celebrate after winning their UEFA Nations League match against Sweden. Jonathan Nackstrand AFP, Getty Images. Spain equalised 15 minutes later when Del Castillo's speculative strike was fumbled by goalkeeper Zesar Mwovi and deflected off her into the net. Eva Navarro then gave La Roja a 2-1 lead as her powerful shot sailed high over Moivia's head, completing a flowing move that had sliced the Swedish defence wide open. Sweden equalised through Lena Hertig before there was late drama. Amanda Elested conceded a penalty in the 94th minute and was red-carded for pulling back Amea Sarigi when she was through on goal. Caldenti made no mistake from the spot to give her team victory. Away from the pitch, the turmoil within Spanish football continued as the RFEF announced the firing of its Director of Integrity on Friday. No further information was provided by the RFEF on the decision.